So today we are going to be exploring how to become the Russia. Okay, so first thing you need to do is, oh, there's some steps, okay? First, you need to become, get out of whatever you was before. I am an all-rounder. I play any plant that I feel like at the time. But some people already a specific type of player. So, that's going to be difficult to get out of your commit to you. It's going to be difficult to get out of your commitments to... A different type of player but you'll have to achieve that manually and with self-discipline now the other part of the washer is you need to be citron you have to be otherwise you're not gonna be rushing to the front lines really are you you're just gonna be kind of sitting there like a dork so once you get there you know you just it's not just as simple as it sounds because Citron is a very difficult thing to do. Very difficult thing to use. And you need to know how to use him. Now, a lot of people, as you can see on the video here, a lot of people just rush forwards and then start firing. That is incorrect. A master rusher. Oh, just a rusher is a master of Citron. And they know what they're doing constantly. Because you don't do this in giant like You don't just keep on firing. Because, well, you need to cool it down a bit. You need to use it in bursts. But, of course, and any normal player will not know this. And will continue to just keep on spraying. Now you have successfully become a sprayer. Good job, you have completely screwed it up. No. What you eventually do is you eventually realise you're not getting as many kills as you could. Hmm, it's a very close tie and they're kind of bots on the enemy team, so what do we do? Well, and then you start just tapping it, you know? Okay, okay, can, can you like, back off? Okay, then you start doing it in short bursts. Well, really long bursts. But you eventually start realising what's up. And, as you can see, we have another type of player on the battlefield. But, you know, type that always gets in your way. The bullet block. But anyway, that's besides the point. Once you start doing these bursts, you will eventually realise, oh, so that's what you do. But it's not as simple as that, you are still not a washer. See, a lot of people just think, oh, so at the beginning of the match, they just run forwards, okay. But it's not just the beginning, it's all throughout the match. The washer doesn't just go in and play the objective, no, 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 no. Even on Team Vanquish, the washer is there, ready to just slaughter the enemy. They get behind the front lines. These are also flankers. The rushers become flankers. It's their natural selection. But, well, we're not doing how to become a flanker. We're doing how to become a rusher. So, after you've done that for quite a long time... Oh my god. So, after you rush forwards, you'll start to get massacred. Because, well, you're running head first. You instantly become a ball as soon as possible, charge head first, and then just slam yourself into some people of the enemy, revive someone perhaps, continue shooting, and then win. And you realise, well, you've actually done pretty well. But then, the enemy were kind of sucky. Alright, okay, so. If you realise that you are the top of the leaderboard and you are amazing, but that is not all. You still have other. Let's put it on normal. Alright, so now. Then you head on into your next match, you know. You're pretty. You're feeling pretty confident. But now. 
you are not a, you're still not committed to Russia. But after a couple matches of doing this, you will learn to rush people. You'll learn that there is no other way. Every other type of player is terrible. They don't do anything. So then you go on, you rush straight forward again. Right into the enemy. You knock someone back, then you get killed. You know, maybe you should have learned by now, but you don't. The rusher doesn't learn. But they do eventually. This is the stage that I call the stage of loss. Because now you're just losing everything. You thought you were doing so well, but there's something that just doesn't add up. You're doing terrible now. It's just a very bad feeling, which nobody really wants. But what else are you gonna do? Not rush? Nah, some people give up entirely on rushing, but that's when you become a sniper and a camper and everything else. No, 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 no. You need to be prepared, okay? You need to know what you're doing. And, well, eventually the rusher will learn. They will eventually learn that rushing forwards is not the best idea, but what else are they going to do? Well, mid-game you just think, hmm, I'm really fast, and you just like, jump onto a roof, and then you die, because you jump onto the wrong roof, but then you realise, maybe I could get a really good vantage point, but I had to go behind the enemy. I wonder what to do. Hmm, well, I better rush in head first into the battle. What else am I going to do? Then you get on the roof and it's just amazing. You start aiming, actually, for once in your life. You start aiming, then you get behind cover. And then you die when someone comes behind you. And this is all in the learning process. You're learning to become a flanker. Learning. It's learning. It's learning to become a flanker. Then you actually don't get on the roof. You sneak behind. You surprise the enemy. You kill them. You shred them. You're still losing, but hey, yeah. that's life, isn't it? Then you start pulling off your shield a bit more. You start actually doing things that help your team. And a flank, but now what? You just died again. You don't know what you're doing. It's becoming difficult. But it's okay. Like I say, it's all in the learning process. And a good flank always rams their enemies first. Alright. Now you see your teammates fighting. You go up the other way and there's a scientist there. Flanking you. Not for long, he's not. He's dead. Now the enemy team won't suspect it. They'll think, well... There's already a scientist down there. And then you pick off people who are also flanking. But you're faster than them. And you have a stronger gun than them. See, me and Citron is highly powerful. Especially as a flanker. So now you're into the ways of flanking. But you're still being killed. That's okay, flankers still get killed, they're not immortal. Well, now you're ready, aren't you? Also, it would help if my teammates actually picked a healer. So it wasn't just me reviving people. You know what? Maybe this is just a terrible battle, but... You still end up losing anyway, it doesn't matter. Lose or not lose, it's okay. Now you realise the art of what you're doing. And you realise flanking is the way to go. And then you do that. Flank some more and well... You get better. I feel like I'm doing a podcast. Alright, well, that's it for today. Well, not really, because... 
there's still a lot to learn about the flanker. And in fact, we need to learn on how they play the objective. If you want, you don't have to watch the rest of this past this set time. If you want, you can just leave the video. Nah, I don't really care. I mean, please stay, but like, it's up to you. But now, you're ready. Because, do you realise that, uh, on normal, apparently nobody picks healers, apart from the enemy. <clears throat> so, now, you have a chance, but that's not all. You want to chart the zombies, but if you can flank, hmm. Well, it's obvious who can flank. Construction worker. Now, flanking with the zombies is good. And now you can't really flank. But I know what you can do. You know what you can do. You can fight. Well, not just fight, but you can now rush forwards, rush to the enemy spawn point, and then just spray them. No, maybe not. Okay, well, that's it for the video. Peace out.